Can everyone see that? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, thanks everyone for joining. Really appreciate the, uh, well, I really appreciate the folks who made it. Uh, <laughs> it, it I guess people are enjoying the weather and uh, getting ready for June 1st for the face-to-face, -face, so uh, nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Um, pretty straightforward meeting. Um, not a, a lot going on, but we'll we'll go through it pretty quickly, I think. Um, just an update on SCAL. I've emailed um, Felix to just incorporate some of the information that he's discussed in uh, the questions that have come up and during his presentation, the questions from his presentation last week. I've asked him to incorporate that into his proposal, so it's you know it's all in there. Um, and uh, from there, it'll just be submitted to uh, Art and uh, and everyone else who has to approve it. And Eric, because I, I guess I heard mm -hmm. him in his presentation that he was thinking it was a, a month to two months of elapsed time. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. That's what his. That's what he. What's he thinks from when he starts a month to two months. Was, was that elapsed time or was that uh, actual project hours? Two months of project hours or is that part time work? Do you think? That's part time work. It, he said it depends on it. Depends on how, you know his scheduling. Um, but okay. Yes, definitely. Um, so yeah, looking forward to uh, to him moving forward on that, and uh, I think we'll I think it'll be really good. Um, seem to have some really good really good reaction uh, from the people that that have have looked at it. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, any questions or comments about Scal? Well, it seemed like there was to me that like there was a limited number of questions during his presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, was there more in writing? Uh, aside from that, there were a few that were on the um, on the base camp for Scal, but there were it was a handful. It wasn't a lot. Um, it didn't seem like people had a lot of questions because, in part, because I think this has been discussed previously. Like, generally, these are the things that we need, and then Felix incorporated them into his proposal and in his presentation. So. I see. So we shouldn't interpret lack of questions as lack of interest. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, great, thanks. Oh. All right. Um, the Carrier Interest Group face-to-face -face Purple Mini Summit, uh, that's obviously coming up very quickly. Um, people are just need, um, you know, we're just getting the last things together. Um, had a meeting with the, the uh, low-level um, subcommittee today and they talked and we talked about um, particular people they'd like to invite. Um, I don't want to mention them on the call but uh, there, there are some groups of people that they'd like to at least reach out to and see if they would be able to either um, you know talk remotely or, or, or in person. Um, uh, additionally they're, uh, they've asked me to uh, work some more on getting the, uh, the press release ready to be submitted, their goal is to get at least two uh, quotes from chipset makers on the press release, and they, they don't really feel it's worth it to send it out without it. Um, so we will we will work on that, um, and uh, they are going to want to finalize uh, at the face to face uh, the the um, document to just say okay we're moving forward with this uh, as is. Did I did I describe that well, Bruce? Do you think, or is there anything I missed? No, I think that you did a good summary. Thank okay. You. All right. Um, I I I was not at the um at the uh, software stack independent API meeting. Um, Bruce, do you is there any sort of report you could um you could be could provide for that or summary? Yeah. Um. Basically, we agreed on who is going to be making presentations for the meeting mm -hmm. um, so that the guys who are going to be making presentations were um, Jose is going to be um, making a presentation of making that from um, well from here in Europe so mm -hmm. probably he'll be going first okay um, and then Walter um, Suku and I believe Pascali okay will also be making um, short presentations 
Okay. And then um, we'll be going into a session that's going to be, um, I guess, like a, um, a whiteboarding session where mm -hmm. we're going to try to make a, come to agreement on whatever is outstanding. Um, in addition, we um, agreed on the scoping as mm -hmm. it's written in the, uh, that you proposed. Mm -hmm. So um, I believe that up until now there's been some disagreement or, yeah, we, we've had an interesting discussion between, in particular, in Cano and uh, Soft Home. Mm -hmm. And I believe that we've now resolved where it is that um, we've differed. Mm -hmm. uh, and we agreed on the text as written right now in the uh, scoping for the work. So um, hopefully it's going to be a really good meeting. It's, uh, you know, it's only 24 hours. Mm -hmm. but, and there's an awful lot of things to cover, but uh, it should be a really good chance for um, those people involved to, to reach a common understanding about where we're moving forward. Awesome. Yeah, I think that sounds great. Thank you, Bruce. Um, is there any other questions or comments about the about the face to face and the purple mini summit? All right. Well, I mean, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Um, the purple feed for uh, OpenWRT lead. Um, oh, excuse me. I, I do have a question for oh, those persons yeah. who aren't going to be there. Um, you were talking about arranging some way of uh, participating. Is that going to be using this GoToMeeting as the way of participating, or how are you going to arrange that? We'll use GoToMeeting. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I have to uh, get the exact uh, um, invite set up, but yeah, that, that's how we'll do that. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, yeah, definitely. We certainly welcome uh, remote participation. Um, the purple feed, um, I, I assume that uh, there's nothing new there, um, or is there, Bruce? No, no. No, okay. We'll, uh, we'll just kind of uh, plan on that going forward near the end of the month. Um, the purple security subgroup update, I don't think there is an update other than that we're going to uh, have a meeting at the face-to-face -to, -face to discuss this topic. Um, the, beyond that, I, I, we didn't get a lot of response for particular members of the community who we thought would be particular would be really interested in this topic. It may be a situation where once we actually start having meetings, we might might be able to get a little more um, community participation uh, from outside of Purple. Um, I think there's interest. It's just getting getting the right people interested and in, and for them to you know see the activity. I think. Um, on board farm, uh, I talked to Zhao and uh, or Zhao sent me an email and he gave me showed me a short uh, presentation for uh, or a summary of, of some of the the you know work that Altran is looking to do uh, related to board farm and in improving testing uh, of OpenWRT and and related boxes. Um, looks really good Zhao um, and we're trying to just set up a time on when to do uh, the presentation um, if it works out um, I think uh, you know we still I still have to talk with uh, with you Bruce and uh, Walter but the possibility of, of allowing Zhao to take a, a 30 minutes out of the high level API discussion to uh, to discuss this um, I, just because he won't be, he'll be in Europe. Do we think that's feasible, or should we try to figure out a different time? Um, uh, I don't know in terms of, of that. From my side, uh, I'm I'm, av I'm available, and for me, I can do the presentation any day besides uh, the upcoming Thursday. But okay. still, I think we 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 still have plenty of time. Mm -hmm. uh, just send me an email saying when you believe it's uh, the best uh, day to do it. Definitely, Bruce. Do you do you think that's feasible, or is that going to take? I too don't know. Much? I think that it's. I think it's really up to Valter and to Shuku because they're the ones who are going to be leading the sessions in in okay. California. Um, so, really, please have a discussion with the two of them. 
Okay, I, I I will do that. Then I'll I'll talk to them. The other thing is we could we could either all, either move it to a different Thursday or we could move it to just a completely different day. Um, but uh, so but that's the next uh, that would be the next possible time that Joe could do it because he, he he's unable to do it next week. Um, all right. Okay, uh, Open WRT Summit. Um, uh, the committee had a had a meeting yesterday. Um, they discussed uh, we discussed the uh, finalizing the sponsorship document. Um, it will be uh, the requests will be sent out starting today. So uh, certainly, if if your organization has has the interest or ability to sponsor the event, I think it's actually um, relatively. We th we feel that it's, it's pretty cost effective and and gives you a, you know opportunity to uh, highlight some of the work that uh, that you're doing in in OpenWRT and to help build the community and to you know show off some of your your interesting work. So it's a, it's a good way to get your name out there and and really market uh, market your organization. Uh, so we will be uh, will be uh, sending those out starting today. Uh, additionally, uh, Kathy is going to be heading up the the work on getting the call for proposals ready. We're, our goal is to have the call for proposals out in mid June. Um, in the past, we've often waited until mid August or early August, and that's that's just not enough time. Uh, it doesn't give people enough time to prepare, and also. Uh, it doesn't give people enough time to enough time to prepare their uh, presentations or their um, their proposals, but it also doesn't give them anybody enough time to plan to attend the event based upon the the schedule. So um, we are going to be doing that. Uh, she's going to be working on that, and we're going to meet again on um, the seventh of June to uh, review that document and. Uh, and either possibly we'll see if there's a draft or something along those lines, or if there's a uh, some sort of uh, uh, you know anything else we need to do before we before we start uh, sending that out. Uh, any questions or comments? All right. Um, Update on the OpenWRT lead remerge. Uh, it, it seems to be moving forward. I've you know just been, been following on the list. Um, there's uh, you know it, there's a you know a, a little bit of, of back and forth and getting everybody on the same page, but doesn't really seem um, you know a huge blocker. It's just a, it looks like it it just needs a little bit of uh, time for everybody to get on the same page and how they want to move forward. But uh, the leaders, especially the um, the committers for lead and and the and the uh, core team for OpenWRT, are seem pretty much on the same page. Um, it, it's the the some other members of the community are just kind of like they were. I get for some reason they felt they they weren't expecting it to move forward the way it did. Um, Again, I don't think it's going to be a big, a big blocker. Just uh, I think it needs to be worked through. Um, do you have any like indication about timing on this? Do you expect it to be finished by summer or after summer? Or what What do you think is going to be happening there? I mean, I've I hate giving giving an estimate because every time I've given an estimate, it's either it's usually wrong. Um, I, I would have to say probably it w I would be shocked. If it w took as long as the OpenWRT summit, I think probably two months is probably in that area from now. Um, but again, it it really depends on how much everybody pushes forward from the core teams into into work out some of the details. And there aren't really that many details to work out. It just seems to be that it's getting the it's it's people you know taking the time and actually following through on it, um, which is, there's work being done and lots of great work being done on that, but obviously everybody is very short on time and they want to be in control of the process. Um, so they're they're not, you know, it doesn't seem to be a situation where they would want to hand it off to someone or anything like that. Um, 
so yeah, I would, I, my estimate is probably about two months based upon what I've seen. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Any other comments or questions? Hey, Eric, back yep. to the uh, purple security up, update. Yeah. Um, one thing I found interesting, I don't know if you follow the Minute uh, OS development, mm -hmm. uh, if you're on that, those dev lists or not. No. But they've just, they've just created a uh, security reporting approach, uh, security weakness report, reporting approach for Minute, and I thought it might be interesting to the OpenWRT crew. So I'll send you a link to it. Oh, definitely. That sounds that sounds great. It also probably um, help the the uh, the subgroup really, you know. Yeah, maybe, or maybe it's something that uh, OpenWRT already has. I'm I'm not aware of it, but uh, I thought it might be useful. My my general assumption is that they probably don't, but yeah, that'd be interesting to find out some more. Definitely, I'd like to see. Okay, I'll send it to you. Definitely, awesome. Great. Uh, any other comments or questions? All right. Well, I appreciate everybody who, who made it to the meeting on, the, on what may be a very nice spring day for you, although right here for me it is not. Um, and, uh, and I will enjoy the, enjoy your, the rest of your day and, and the weekend, and uh, um, we'll talk to you next week and certainly at the summit after that. All right. Thanks, Eric. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. See you.